Welcome. Hey, good afternoon. It's Triangles, part two. Triangles, the sequel. So, I want to know more about triangles and all that they're good for. One thing I notice is uh, this isn't a triangle, it's a square, but watch. It's two triangles. Okay, two triangles make up a square. It's an important little piece of information for some time down the road. But, triangles two, two triangles. Let's talk about the triangle inequality. Probably when you tried making, constructing your triangles using the cups, you ran into some that didn't work. And hopefully you have some theory about why they uh, did or didn't work. Uh, there's such more than just an idea. There's a theorem. There's a uh, theorem. is just an idea that's been proven. Uh, it just makes it sort of mathy sounding if we call it a theorem. No big deal. So basically, if... Let's see. How do I want to word this? I probably should have thought of that before I started. So the lengths, that's what I wanted to say. The lengths, and actually even more than that. Let's try this again. I'm going to go with the little typing thing. I like when I did that. Okay, and then you can type along with me, or you can word word with me. So the sums of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the third side. Okay, some lengths of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the length of the third side. That's the triangle inequality theorem, okay? So if I have a triangle, you know, that's, uh, let's see, let's just pick some numbers here at random. Uh, if I have two and three and four, that won't work because two plus three is bigger than four, three plus four is bigger than two, two plus four is bigger than three. So largely you're looking at comparing the two shorter sides to the, to the third side. If I had two, three, and seven, that's not gonna work because two plus three is not bigger than seven. Okay, so that's a problem for me if I have a try to make a triangle that's two, three, and seven. If you think about it, I have my seven inch line, you know, I do my little compass thing out to there, it's going to it's going to three, and we're never gonna actually meet. Okay. So triangle inequality theorem. The sum of the lengths of two sides of a triangle must be greater than the third side. Can you construct a triangle that has side lanes three, four, and six, two, five, and seven? You can work your way through those, right? Yeah, hey, pause for a second, and then uh, when you when you think you're ready, tell me. You ready yet? What about now? All right, good. Now, so does this one work? Three and four bigger than six. Yes. Two and five, it's equal to seven. It's got to be bigger than. Okay, that's a case where if I had the seven, the two and the five would meet, you know, like right there, and it wouldn't actually make anything above the ground. 100 and 125 and 150. Seems to work, right? 225 is bigger than 150, so that one's going to be a worker. And let's see, for this turns out to be, what, 450 versus 575? No sir, rebub, that ain't going to work. I mean, sorry. No, madam, that is not going to work at all. Much better. So, two sides of a triangle are 5 and 13. What's the length of the shortest possible third side? Okay, the shortest possible third side. So, basically... We need to be able to bridge from 5 to 13 in this case. So how far apart are 5 and 13? They're 8. So my shortest possible third side has got to be bigger than 8. Okay, you know, you could say 8.01 if we make a triangle, but, you know, 8-ish. If we're going whole numbers, it'd have to be 9, but 8, 8.1, 8.5. What's the uh, length of the longest possible third side? I may have done these in reverse, but I'm not even sure. No, no, I'm right. Okay. So the longest possible third side, these two add up to, to 18, right? So I couldn't have an 18 inside. My longest possible third side would have to be smaller than 18. Okay, 5 plus 13 equals 18. That would give me that situation where they meet exactly at the line. And so we need a smaller size than 18. See how that works? Okay. Subtract to get one of them, add to get the other one is the basic pattern. And uh, what else do we know about triangles? What else do we know about triangles? Well, we know that, uh, let's see, uh, they have 180 degrees inside of them, right? That's one thing that we know. We know this is a right triangle. This is actually one of our special right triangles, which we'll learn more about. This one's one of our special right triangles, which we'll learn more about. One thing with right triangles, if we know an angle measure and we know the length of one, any of the sides, we can find the other two sides. That's a little thing called trigonometry, which we're going to learn about in the future. So triangles are pretty big here in the uh, world of math, so get used to them, love them. 
enjoy them. That's the worst spelling of trigonometry I've ever seen. That is an M. That is a Y. Looks like true. I don't even know what it looked like. Trigonomophry. That looks like half. Trigonom. Good lord. All right. Trigonometry. That's what it really is supposed to say there. Not sure what I'm trying to spell. Uh, again, back to that two squares. So I can cut this thing in half, right? would make it into triangles and that would make it more sturdy, right? If suddenly if I were to lean on this before the brace, I'd have that. I know the 180 degrees in one triangle, so there's 360 in that. I can do the same thing with my little pentagon. I can do that and I can do that. I can count up triangles and I'd have 180 there and 180 there and 180 there. That's fascinating. I could cut these into any number of triangles, you know. I could just go Oh. Again, that one hits. I got one, two, three, four, five, six triangles, right? In that eight-sided figure. All right. So there's that, and then, uh, and then there's that, and then there's the end, and that's it. Triangles. There's an eight-sided thing. Okay, we can make some triangles. We could make it more rigid. If I just leaned on this right now, it'd fall apart. But if I pop some triangles in, it would be stronger. Okay. So triangle version two. Thanks for watching. I don't know if I was talking really fast, but I'm pretty darn excited about triangles. So. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Have a beautiful day. Hope you learned something. Really, I do. Let's stop at exactly 6.30, right? That's me.